Hey everyone, Melanie Menchinger here, illustrator for Gina K Designs. Today I have a new project for you with my newest set from Gina K Designs, Stately Flowers 10. And we're making this three-dimensional gift card holder or treat holder with the seed packet label in my Stately Flowers 10 set. It can hold quite a lot. You could put a gift card in here, or I thought it would be super fun for like one of your crafty friends to put a lot of buttons. And it can hold way more. This is just an example. I'm also thinking it would be really fun as a treat holder to put in maybe some powdered drink mix or some pop rocks that would coordinate with the color that you stamp your label. So today I'm doing the dogwood on here and I said on here this is no template so I just wanted to start stamping and cutting so that you could make something that you don't have to download, print out. It's really easy to do. If you've watched my other uh, videos or followed my blog, I don't like to measure when I don't have to so this is super easy to make. The products that you're going to need in addition to the Stately Flowers 10 set and of course once you have the seat label you could make this with any of the other flowers in my Stately Flowers line or other stamps in your collection. We're also going to be using some of the Gina K Pure Luxury Ivory. This is the layering weight. I don't think you need the base weight for this. Once you've got your folds and everything it's going to be plenty strong. You don't need the base weight for it. You don't have to measure. When I originally started this project, I just stamped it on the middle of a piece that looked like it would work. Once it's cut down though, it's approximately five by seven. So if you wanna start with that piece, that's gonna be the only measuring that you have to do and the least amount of cutting so that you have less paper waste. The pads that I'm going to be using today, I've got the Gina K Dusty Rose, love this pink, and the Dark Chocolate. The markers that I'm going to be using to color that flower are the light green, the yellow green, the carmine red, the fluorescent pink, and then the mustard. These are the Zig Clean Color Markers, so really fun to color with. Not doing any water coloring with them today, just straight onto the paper. I've got some blocks for the flower, the greetings, and then the seed packet. This is on a 6x6 six six block, but you could also use a cuddle bug plate if you don't have one that large. We're going to use some scissors for cutting that out, and then I've just got some of the score tape. Um, you could use one quarter inch. This is a little bit wider than what I would like to be using, but I don't have any more one quarter inch right now. So I'm just gonna show you how you can fold that in half and you'll still have that nice double bond. And then just whatever you wanna fill your packet with, but I thought this would be great for students, teachers, a loved one, tuck it in their suitcase or their backpack, put it in their little inbox. So I'm really excited about these packets. So let's get started stamping this. I wanna show you though, this is on watercolor paper. I grabbed this by accident when I got started and it didn't stamp very well. So that's when I realized, oh, I forgot to grab my Pure Luxury. So if you're getting started stamping, you want to make sure that you have something that's very smooth, especially for your bold images, or you're not going to get as solid of an image like you can see that I did here on the Pure Luxury. Okay, so let's start by stamping out this label. I'm going to ink this face up. I'm going to make sure that you're starting with a very clean stamp and that you're getting it good and inked all over since you have this bold image. Then I'm going to hold it to the light just to make sure that I've got it all inked. Looks good. And then I want to put it on the middle lengthwise so that I have that flap on either side and then just below the middle so that I have a slightly larger flap on the top than I do that's going to be folded in. Okay, so right about there. See, I'm not like measuring anything. And as long as you have it lined up on the block, those lines running parallel to your stamp and to your cardstock should get a nice good impression that's going to be centered once you fold up your packet. Okay, so I'm going to pull that away. Then I'm going to stamp my flower in here. And I forgot to say, if you want to have something for a mask, if your flower is a little bit bigger, then the inside of this label, you can cover this with a mask that you have already made and cut out the center portion, or you can just put a post-it note at the top and bottom of that line. So I'm gonna use this today since I already showed you how to make this. This was in my intro video for the set. And I'm inking this up in the dark chocolate. Okay. And I'm 
I'm just going to stamp this right about here. And then I'm going to add my greetings. So I'm going to do birthday blessings instead of putting a flower name on here. So blessings here in the bottom. And then birthday at the top. Okay. Now let's color this in really quick and then we will grab our score pal to do the scoring on that. So I'm just going to do a little bit of the yellow green on these leaves. I just love how juicy these are and how easy it is to paint that in. And then just a little bit of that light green. These are so vibrant. And then I'm going to do the same to the middle here. So I'm just going to swirl that in, the lighter green, and then I'm just going to take the tip of that and just dot a few of those centers with the darker green. Then I'm going to take this mustard and just do a little swipe on the branch and then just go over that area again on the darkest parts where the flowers are covering and casting a little bit of a shadow. Okay, so I really, really love the tips of these. If I've shown you before, if you've seen these online, these are actually, this is a real true brush tip. It's not like a bullet. It's not a soft piece of felt. It's actual little hairs. So the end of that, you can make just the tiniest, wispiest little lines. So I'm loving this for the veins on flowers. But you can also then hold the brush sideways and use more pressure to get a thicker line. So I didn't try to match the pink exactly. It's going to kind of blend with my label. And then I'm going to take that deeper carmine red just to make that pop. And then I'm putting just a little bit here at the tip of each petal. Okay, so that's that's fine the way it is, but then just look how much it adds when you just put in just the tiniest bit of that red. So I'm just using little flicking strokes and I am just following the lines in my illustration. So you don't want to go straight out, they're kind of curving out, okay? All right, now it's time to do our scoring. So I've got my score pal here, or you could use the smaller score buddy. I'm gonna take off this mat. Hang on, I've got some stuff in here. Okay, so I'm gonna take just a little tool. I don't have my other score tool today. It's somewhere in this room. So what I'm gonna do is I just wanna have about a quarter inch on either side of this label on every side. So I'm just going to pick a spot and pull down and then do the same on the other side. And you can go all the way up. I just, it's easier for me to get it started in the track if I pull it down a little bit, but that'll make sure, that'll ensure that the lines are going parallel. You don't want to be going like that or like that. Okay. Then I want it to be about a quarter inch above this here. So I'm just eyeballing this again. But if you want it to be more precise and measured, you can. Okay. All right. So we've made one, two, three, four scores. Now we need to do our cutting. So we're just going to be cutting into each of these four intersections. Now you could cut straight along the score if you want, but then it's harder to make it fold up because you have the width of that paper. So what I always like to do is just to go in at a diagonal just a little bit to create a tab. And that's just gonna give you a little bit of wiggle room with the paper. You're gonna to wanna to do the same thing on the sides. Now this doesn't have to be mirror image because you're not gonna be seeing the folds coming in. You will see one of them 
where it overlaps at the top on the back. And I'll show you that in a second with the other one. But so I'm just coming into each of these intersections and cutting this bit off. And then you're gonna to wanna to do the same thing at the top. Okay, so that's it. That's all the cutting. Put this aside, all right? So now what you're gonna do is you're just gonna fold each of your scores in so you see how those are overlapping there. This bottom one is gonna go underneath. So we're just gonna fold it up just like that. So we need to have two pieces of score tape here. You're gonna have one on the side and then one on the bottom. So since mine is a little bit wider than I want, I don't want it sticking out. I don't want it in here because I don't want it sticking to my stuff and I don't want it coming out here. So I'm just gonna put it along the very top of this edge and then I'm gonna fold it down and because it's adhesive, it's going to stick. So I'm just gonna put it just like that, okay? And it's really easy to work with because it has this paper backing so it's not sticking to my fingers. So we're gonna pull this away and then I'm just gonna fold this down onto that edge, okay? Quarter inch would be easier, but just gotta make it work. Then I'm gonna put this overlapping just a little bit so I can do the fold. And if you're really persnickety about it and you wanna go all the way to the edge, you can do that, but this is enough to hold it. And then I'm just gonna fold this down just right along that edge there, okay? So we're gonna fold this in first. The second flap, the one that doesn't have the adhesive, and then press down this last one. And there's your packet, very simple. So it holds a lot. This finished size is about, let's see, it's about three and a quarter by three and an eighth, or three and a quarter, or, well, when it's folded up, excuse me, four. So about three and a quarter by four inches. If you wanted to tie this onto a greeting card, you could do that. This would also be really fun for little note cards or artist trading cards, just lots of ideas. And I'm looking forward to putting some of my other Stately Flowers images into the seed packet. I hope this was helpful and it gives you a lot of ideas for maybe some little teacher or student gifts you can do this fall. Obviously, Christmas is right around the corner, so great for stocking stuffers. I would love to do some kind of Christmassy flowers or maybe use the pine cone and tassel from one of my stately flower sets. Um, that would be beautiful for the winter holidays. Thanks for watching today. I hope you will subscribe to my channel and to my blog. Please visit us at Stamp TV and Gina K Designs for more ideas and inspiration using all of our stamp sets. Thank you for watching today. God bless. Oh, you know what? There's no A or B today. I hope you like this project. Thanks.